bring That's a nice sign. Could I see that? Yeah, he's, that's it. That's good. That's okay. We are all blessed here today, and we thank you too for blessing us. I'd like to just, at this very moment, have a moment of silence for Gonzalo Santos, as I mentioned before. Por favor, ¿nos puedes traer las sogas? Gracias. Las flores, por favor. We are in for a treat today. This is called God's Knot. It's the cord of three strands represented in colors. One represents the bride, the other one the groom, and the other one God. And I'll get to that in just a minute as they start to braid. Though one may be overpowered Two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. God in the mix, this union will never break. In Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12, it illustrates the importance of Christian companionship. Two Christians that are bound together in Christ are stronger than the individuals themselves. We believe that Christian marriage is about more than the union of one man and one woman. The relationship, the Bible teaches us that God performs a miracle in our marriage, uniting us together in a covenant relationship with him as one. It was three strands, and now it's one. This bond can withstand anything, anyone, any force can throw at it because it has God mixed in between. Where God is, evil cannot prevail.
The Court of Three Strands is a God's Not original. Couples around the world have been using it to boldly demonstrate God's design for marriage. The Court of Three Strands symbolizes the joining of one man and one woman by God into marriage relationship. Marriage takes three. You're soon to be a spouse, and you, you're soon to be spouse and God. It was God who taught us to love. As I spoke to you earlier about what love is, there is no doubt that these two embody the definition of what love is. I've counseled them and they've taught me about love. They didn't know that. I just had to tell, throw that in there. <laughs> By keeping him at the center of your marriage, his love will continue to bind you together as one throughout your marriage. Gold represents God. The divinity of God is represented in the gold strand. The covenant relationship is initiated by him, will be built under his authority, and is intended to glorify him. The purple strand represents the groom. As a new creation in Christ, the majesty of the groom is represented in purple. As the husband loves his wife and submits himself to the Lord, the Lord in turn will demonstrate his great love in the marriage relationship. The white strand, because she is so beautiful, represents the bride. Having been cleansed by the salvation in Christ, the purity of the bride is represented in white. As the wife honors her husband and submits herself to the Lord, the Lord in turn will nurture and strengthen the marriage relationship. Your relationship has already been proven to everyone. Now, today, the two of you are no longer two. The two of you are now one. In the eyes of God, you are no longer two separate individuals. He sees you both today as one being. And nothing can separate that. And let no man try. Because if he does, he will undergo the wrath of God. Because this is love incarnate. Josh. It didn't take long after I met you to realize how special you were. I couldn't believe how quickly I fell in love with you, which made me wonder if this were too good to be true. Well, today, a couple months shy of three years, and my love for you is stronger than ever, and without a speck of doubt in my heart. Not only have you touched my life, you've touched my family's. The way my mom has loved you like her son, the way my dad referred to you as my husband far before our marriage. I will forever cherish how much my family loves every bit of you. And I am forever grateful to you for how special you were with my father up until his final moments. With each passing day, my love for you grows and I thank God for blessing my life with you. You are the most genuine and loving person and I am honored to be a part of you. I promise to always support, encourage, and inspire you. I promise to be honest, kind, and patient with you. I promise to tone down the attitude. <laughs> but above all, I promise to love and respect you forever. I vow to be forever yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Valerie, from the moment I met you, you have been a light in my life. You have taught me so much in this relationship, and to this day, I still learn so much from you. You inspire me to be a better man. I love how you taught me that the definition of true love is the refusal to give up on each other. Valerie, I find my strength in you. 
You are the foothold in my perseverance and the anchor in my patience. I love how inseparable we are. I love that no matter how much time we spend with one another, we're just as ecstatic as the first day to have another movie night together. I love you for being my best and most supportive friend. I love you for always believing in me and for helping me to believe in myself. Valerie, I promise to be the one you can always count on, to always comfort you when you've woken up from a bad dream and let you drool on me when you're still sleeping. I vow to always support you in your dreams and ambitions as you have always done for me. I vow to always order extra portions of my food for you to steal. And I promise to remember that neither of us are perfect, but to always remind myself of the reasons we are perfect for each other. I vow to still be silly with you well into our 60s. I promise always to be your advocate, to nurture love throughout our relationship. I vow to always lend an ear of understanding and grace, to encourage you in growth, stand by you in sickness, and to provide you solace when you are down. I promise to always be Ross and Rachel crazy about you, and to choose you over and over every day. I vow to try all your new home remedies, even if it does turn my mouth black. <laughs> Valerie, you are my best friend, my now and forever. I promise to love you unconditionally and without restraint, to never give up on us, and to always be your partner in everything we do from this day forward. I gotta admit, that was beautiful. <laughs> you know, there's a tradition that they ask if anyone wants to speak up, but it's obvious everyone is in awe of what we're watching here today. So without further ado, the powers granted to me by our Heavenly Father and by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Aguirre. You may now. <laughs> you have no idea. Yesterday, we took five, no, 15 minutes to do this. I showed Josh. You want me to show him? No. No, okay. <laughs> so what we've been waiting for you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Folks, Mr. and Mrs. Aguirre. <laughs>